All right, for our first example, we have this curve. We have this horizontal curve, and we have um, some given parameters. Um, we have that the beginning of curve, or BC, starts here, and that's at station, that's at station 14 plus 67.21, okay? That's the BC. BC stands for beginning of curve. And we have some other information, the radius of this curve. So the radius, the radius here, this distance, the radius is 800 feet. 800 feet. And the interior angle, remember the interior angle is the angle that's created by these two lines and these two lines are um, perpendicular to the tangent line of BC and of EC, okay? So this angle here, the interior angle, is 30 degrees. And the problem wants us to find out the length, the length of this curve, so the distance from BC to EC. Um, the long chord, and the long chord, remember, is the, it's the straight distance from BC to EC. And we also want to figure out what the tangent is. Remember, the tangent is the tangent line to the BC or the EC to the point of intersection. And the point of intersection, you know, it's, it's somewhere over here. This is the PI. Okay? So, for our length, let's do length first. Let's do number one, two, three. For our length, um, we know the formula. We know that length of horizontal curves um, are equal to 2 pi times r, r stands for radius, times delta. Delta is the interior angle. And all of that is divided by 360 degrees. So if we just plug in the radius and the interior angle, which we have, 830 degrees, um, let's plug it in, 2 pi times the radius, radius is 800 feet, um, and then the interior angle is... 30 degrees, divide that by 360 degrees, and if you solve all this out, you should get that the length, the length of this horizontal curve is 418.88 feet. Okay, so that's that's one of the three problems. We have the length. Now let's find the long chord. The long chord is the distance from BC to EC, and again, we have a formula for that. So for, I'm going to keep the diagram in the picture. So for the long chord, so this is kind of one problem. The long chord, um, our formula for our long chord, or LC, is 2 times R sine of the interior angle over 2. Okay, and again, we can plug this in. Notice that the only uh, for the long chord and the length of the curve, um, we use the same parameters, r and delta. There's no other um, variables here. So we plug this in, 2 times r, which is the radius, again, it's 800 feet, um, times sine of the interior angle, which is 30, divided by 2, right? And if we solve this out, we get that the long chord, long chord is equal to 414 um, point eleven feet, okay? So the long chord, the distance from BC to EC is equal to 414 feet. Now the last um, uh, value we need to figure out is the tangent. And remember, tangent is the distance from BC to the PI, right? So this is the tangent. This is T, okay? And again, we have a, a formula for that. Our tangent formula is equal to R tan delta over 2. Remember, delta is your interior angle. So, we plug this in. The radius is 800 feet. Tan, or tangent of um, 30 over 2, right? And if we solve all this out, we get 214.36 feet. So this says that the distance from the BC to the PI or from the EC to the PI is 214.36 uh, feet. Notice that for all of these parameter or all of these variables we needed to find, we only needed two things. We needed um, the interior angle delta and we needed the radius r.